Hey guys, YouTuber 100 here. All right, now here I am to kick off these uh, rise and fall of John Hughes reviews. And to start off, this is going to be a review for the original National Lampoon's Vacation movie. Yeah. So yeah, so I've already uh, talked about a uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, but yeah, there were two other uh, National Lampoon. Uh, movies that John Hughes wrote. So yeah, so in these reviews I'm going to be covering both of those. Yeah. And yeah, and as far as this movie, like uh, going into it I wasn't really sure what to expect because I never had actually seen it before. Like uh, Christmas Vacation was really the only National Lampoon's mo movie that I had seen before. Yeah. So yeah, so I hadn't, so yeah, I haven't actually watched uh, either one of these National it, it, these other two National Lampoon movies prior to me making these reviews. Yeah, but yeah, but I did finally uh, watch uh, this film for the first time, and I gotta say, yeah, this was a pretty good movie. <laughs> yeah, it was like like a, a kind of like a different style movie than like the traditional John Hughes movies, but yeah, this was back in uh, 1983, so yeah, so back in the day, like with, like John Hughes did actually like uh, write some like uh, movies that were like like, like, more geared towards adults, because they had, like, R ratings, of course, like, movies such as, uh, this and The Breakfast Club, yeah, John Hughes did write some R-rated movies, like, uh, back during this time, yeah, so, yeah, so this is really, like, kind of, like, a movie that really is, like, like, more for adults, of course, by the R rating, yeah, but, yeah, I gotta say, yeah, this is a pretty good movie, yeah, yeah, I mean, this movie definitely did, like, have, like, quite a lot of funny, uh, s things about it, yeah, there were, like, a lot of, like, several funny scenes in this movie, yeah, and, yeah, and this was, like, a uh, pretty different from A Christmas Vacation, yeah, this movie, like, uh, the setup for this movie, it's now pretty much kind of just, like, the standard, uh, road trip movie, he formula, because, yeah, what this film really is just about, it's about the Griswold family, like, uh, uh, traveling cross-country for, for vacation, and yeah, and as they're traveling, like, they, like, get into, like, a whole bunch of mishaps and situations along the way, yeah, and then at the end, they finally get there, and yeah, and then it turns out, like, uh, they just have even more trouble, yeah, yeah, so it really just really does have that formula that pretty much, like, every movie that does have this, uh, setup has, such as, like, with, uh, Dumb and Dumber, and, uh, Are We There Yet, and some of the other movies that have, like, this sort of, a setup where they just spend the entire movie traveling, yeah, so, yeah, so, it really, it's just, like, kind of, like, the, really, just the standard formula for movies with the story today, but, yeah, back during this time, like, this was really before, like, a lot of movies really did do it, at least, like, the ones that really are known today, yeah, but yeah, even like, even now, like, this film still does, like, do a pretty good job with this story, yeah, so yeah, so, this film, like, oh, like, does, like, still, like, have a Chevy Chase and, uh, Beverly D'Angelo and, like, some of the other, uh, uh, cast members that did play the characters in Christmas Vacation, though, of course, like, this movie was released before, uh, Christmas Vacation, obviously, yeah, and in this movie, like, uh, the the kids are played by different actors than they were in Christmas Vacation, yeah? And the film also does have, like, other cast members such as, uh, well, it does, like, feature, like, uh, actors such as, uh, Eddie Bracken, Brian Doyle Murray, John Candy, Eugene Levy, yeah, and some other actors in the movie, yeah? So it does, like, have, like, a pretty good lineup of, uh, actors in the, uh, this movie, yeah? And yeah, and like I said, like, the movie really is, like, a pretty good, it really does do this, this, uh, story really good, like, pretty much, like, set up for this film, like I said, like, a, like, a Clark, who's, of course, like, played by Chevy Chase, like, he really just wants to, um, take his family on vacation, because, yeah, he just really is, like, always working and just really doesn't really, like, spend much time with his family, so he wants to spend time with his family, so he plans his vacation, and he does want to drive rather than fly because he feels that, like, it would be, like, uh, but more time to spend with his family, yeah. So they are really just driving cross-country from Chicago all the way to California to go to um, Wally World, yeah. And like I said, just, like, 
throughout the entire movie, like, they're taking, like, a whole bunch of detours and just really get into, like, a whole bunch of mishaps and situations along the way, such as, uh, vandalism and, uh, and, uh, uh, pit stops for family and just, like, all these, like, other mishaps that happen all throughout the film. And as the film progresses, you <laughs> It's like, it really just, like, shows how they're just really getting into more and more trouble throughout the film. <laughs> um, yeah, and then, yeah, then it starts to, like, cause some tension between, uh, Clark and the rest of the family. And, yeah, then when the family eventually just wants to, um, call off the vacation, he just refuses because they've already gotten this far and he really is just, like, obsessed with making it to California, yeah? Yeah, then, yeah, then it, some, it causes some problems between, um... Clark and, uh, Ellen, in, in that one point, yeah, yeah, then when Clark then just does finally realize, like, how he's been acting, then, like, he really just really is wanting to really, like, uh, set things right, and then, yeah, then eventually things are set right, and then, yeah, then, at the end, they finally do get to California to go to Wally World, but, yeah, like I said, like, they just get, have some more trouble once they get there, so, um, yeah, so, so, yeah, so it really is just, like, that is pretty much just, like, how this movie really is. Just, like, as they're traveling, they just keep getting into, like, uh, trouble along the way. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, this movie does, like, have some funny scenes, such as, like, there's the part where, like, uh, Clark falls asleep behind the wheel, you know, as he's driving, and then, <laughs> yeah, it's all that, like, he's still, like, going, and he's, like, uh, like, just, like, driving, like, just so out of control, and he's not aware of it, which was pretty funny, yeah, there's also that, a part where they're, like, uh, stranded in the Monument Valley, and he's, like, like, a uh, uh, hiking, but on his own, trying to find some help, and it shows how he's just, like, has a bunch of stuff over his head, such as his pants and other things like that, yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, and it just has, like, some, of, like, other funny scenes throughout the film as well, so, yeah, so, overall, yeah, I do think that this film, overall, yeah, it is a pretty good film, and it does have some good humor in it, and, yeah, and it really does tell this story really, really well, yeah? So, yeah, so, I'm not really sure, like, like, to really, like, recommend this film to everybody, because, yeah, like I said, it is, it does have an R rating, so it really is, like, geared toward, like, older people, but, yeah, if you are at least, like, of age, if you are, like, a a grown adult, yeah, I definitely do recommend checking this film out if you haven't seen it before, it really is like a really good and funny film, so yeah, so I guess I would give the movie probably around like three and a half stars out of four, yeah, it really is like a really good, funny, enjoyable movie, all right, so, so yeah, so, yeah, so I guess I'll just start talking about the movie, yeah, all right, so yeah, so like I said, like it shows how, uh, Clark is really wanting to spend time with uh, Ellen, Rusty, and Audrey, and so then he he, just, he then like decides to like take them on a vacation cross country to uh, California to Wally World, which is billed as America's uh, favorite family fun park. Yeah, and Ellen really is was like trying to just uh, uh, convince Clark that they should fly, but. Clark was insistent on driving to bond with the family some more, yeah, so, yeah, and then he's, like, just forced to buy, like, a, a Wagon Queen family truckster, which is, like, an, just, like, this, like, really oversized, ugly station wagon, because the car that, like, uh, he wanted on it was, like, not at the, uh, uh, dealership, and so then, like, he pretty much had no choice but to buy that, uh, station wagon, yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, then, as they were driving, like, things were going fine at first, but if eventually they then ended up, like, uh, arriving in St. Louis, Missouri, and it showed that, like, uh, they ended up, like, uh, getting, uh, tagged by vandals, yeah, and stuff, yeah, then it, there was also a point where, like, uh, they were at a, uh, bar, in uh, Dodge City, Kansas, and as Clark was, like, really, like, just, uh, like, uh, aggravating the bartender, the bartender eventually, like, fired off a gun at him. Him, yeah? Yeah. And then it showed, like, as they were traveling, uh, Clark ended up, like, uh, 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 noticing, like, this, uh, young woman that was driving, like, a red Ferrari 308 GTS, yeah, and Clark just, like, kept seeing her, like, all throughout the movie. 
Yeah. And then eventually, then, uh, Ellen then just suggested to, um, uh, visit, uh, Cousin Ke- like Catherine and Eddie in uh, Coolidge. Uh, so they stopped there, and then it also, like, uh, showed that, um, uh, Catherine, um, Ellen's, uh, Aunt Edna was also with them, and then, yeah, she was, like, she was just, like, always just, like, so cranky and bitter, yeah. Then, yeah, then, like, as they were staying, then, like, uh, 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 and, uh, then, like, just, like, said that, like, uh, like, asked, uh, um, Clark and, uh, Ellen if they would, uh, well, to, um, drop her off at, uh, her son Norman's home in, uh, good old Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, so, pretty much, like, it was forced upon them, and so they were basically forced into, um, like, uh, bringing, um, Aunt Edna along with her, along with her, uh, just a deranged, uh, the dog, uh, Dinky, yeah, yeah, so, Joel felt like, uh, they were, uh, then, uh, were continuing to travel along with, uh, Aunt Edna and, uh, Dinky, yeah, <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, then, like, as the thing, like, stopped at a, um, a really bad campground in, uh, South Fort, Colorado, Huddle for the night. The next day, as they then, uh, like, loaded up the car and continued to drive, like, uh, like, a, a cop ended up, uh, pulling over for Clark, and then just pretty much, like, uh, showed him that, like, uh, like, he ended up, um, actually killing Dinky because he forgot to actually untie, um, Dinky's leash from the bumper before driving as he was loading up the car, and Dinky ended up being killed. Yeah, and then as the and then the cop was then just uh giving uh, Clark a very angry lecture about animal cruelty, but then Clark then just like said it was an accident and he apologized for it. Right, so then yeah, the um the cop then uh, let Clark go, and then once Edna found out about um Dinky's death, and it just showed how like, she was just more irate at Clark. Yeah. Clark, yeah. Then, yeah, then later on, like, as, like, they were then arrived in Arizona, as they were, like, uh, coming towards the Grand Canyon, Canyon, they then ended up, like, uh, crashing during an argument and were just, like, stranded near Monument Valley. Yeah. yeah. Then, yeah. Then... Yeah, then, as, like, they were just, like, uh, stranded, like, Clark and Rusty then were, like, uh, had a talk with each other, and then Clark was then just, like, uh, telling Rusty why he wanted this vacation, to spend more time with, with, uh, the family, <laughs> and then you had this, like, funny bit where, like, uh, Clark was uh, sharing a beer with Rusty, and, uh, Clark, like, uh, took a swig of the beer and then gave the can to Rusty for a drink, and Rusty ended up drinking the rest of the can, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, then Clark then, like, uh, tried to look for help by setting off alone in the desert, but then he eventually ended up, uh, reuniting with the family, as, and it was, like, uh, revealed that, like, they were rescued and taken to a local mechanic, and the mechanic ended up uh, fixing the car as well as they could, but it was just barely operational, and Clark was pretty much just forced into giving them all his, the cash he had, yeah. Then, as they, uh arrived at the, uh, Grand Canyon, Clark then, like, tried to, um, cash a personal check, but his credit card was reported stolen, because, yeah, earlier on, um, Ed Ellen ended up, uh, losing the bags that had her credit card in it, and, yeah, Clark, like, reported them missing, and, yeah, and so, but, yeah, there was, like, a mistake, thinking, like, it was Clark's credit card, and so then, as a result, like, he couldn't, like, cash checks or X or do anything, but then, as the clerk, like, had his back turned, uh, Clark then just ended up, like, uh, raiding the cash register, taking all the cash and leaving the check behind, yeah. And as they were continuing to drive, as they were, like, uh, approaching Phoenix, they then discovered that 
Aunt Edna died in her sleep, and so then they just didn't know what to do, and so they then just decided to take her to Norman's house, but when they got there, uh, they then found out that Norman was out of town, so then they just decided to leave Edna's body at the back door with a note, and then they pulled, like, a small memorial for her. Yeah, so it's kind of dark that, like, there was, like, two deaths in this movie, like that, and just the way that they, like, uh, handle the corpses, like, kind of dark. Yeah. Yeah, then, yeah, then after they just, uh, left, uh, Edna's body, then, uh, Ellen and the kids then were just, like, trying to uh, convince Clark to just call the trip off and just go home. But Clark, at this point, like, really was just obsessed with uh, reaching Wally World. So they, they continued. But then, as they, like, uh, uh, stopped at a hotel for the night, and, like, uh, Clark had another argument with Ellen. And then, yeah, Clark then eventually then uh, just went down to the bar where he ran into that, uh, Ferrari, uh, girl again, yeah, then, yeah, as they then had a talk, then they eventually ended up, uh, going, uh, skinny dipping in the hotel pool, but then they ended up waking up everybody at the hotel, and then, uh, Ellen ended up, uh, catching Clark with the woman, woman, so then, yeah, then afterwards, then Clark then, like, uh, then went after Ellen, and then after a talk with, uh, Rusty, then, uh, Clark then, like, made amends with, uh, Ellen. She realized that, like, he is trying and she told him that she would also try. So then, yeah, yeah, they then, uh, made amends and then, yeah, then they went skinny dipping into the pool. Yeah. And, yeah, then it showed that they finally did arrive in California and got to Wally World. And then, <laughs> yeah, but once they got there, they then, like, uh, discovered that, the park is actually, like, closed for the next two weeks for repairs, but then, yeah, after that, that's when just, uh, Clark then just finally snapped, and so then, like, he ended up, like, uh, buying a, a BB gun from a sporting goods store, and just, uh, uh like, uh, just intimidated security at the park to, uh, let them in, so then, yeah, then, uh, uh, Clark then, like, held one of the guards at gunpoint and then just, uh, like, had him, like, uh, take them on all the rides they wanted. But then, yeah, then it showed, like, Ellen and the kid really were, like, not agreeing with Clark doing this. Yeah. But eventually, like, a SWAT team then arrived and as, like, the family was about to be arrested, Roy Wallet, the owner of the park, then appeared. And then, yeah, then, uh, Clark then just explained the situation to Roy and then Roy understood, uh, Clark how Clark was feeling, because he actually, like, had a same, the same vacation with his family, so, yeah, he knew what Clark was going through, yeah, so then, yeah, then he decided not to press any charges on the Griswold family, and then let them, along with the SWAT team, enjoy the park, yeah, and then, yeah, then that's how the movie ended, and during the credits, then we just, like, had a montage of a whole bunch of photos of the vacation, and the last one seen was the family, then, uh, flying back, to Chicago, and it showed they had, a uh, souvenir hats of Wally World, yeah, and that's how it ended, yeah, so, yeah, so, like I said, like, it is a pretty good movie, it really does this story really well, I mean, it may be looked at as just, like, the standard of road trip, uh, formula for a movie now, but, yeah, this is, it still is, uh, really good, and there are some funny scenes, like the ones I mentioned earlier, yeah, and, yeah, but, yeah, and it also really does, like, have some dark moments as well, such as the death, so, yeah, so it really does kind of, like, uh, take advantage of the R rating in that sense, yeah, so, yeah, so, overall, yeah, this really is, like, a very enjoyable movie, yeah, like I said, like, if you are of age to watch this movie, I do give it a recommendation, yeah, it definitely is a really good, entertaining movie, yeah, all right, so, yeah, so, like I said, I give it three and a half stars out of four, all right, so, yeah, all right, so, yeah, so, I guess this, that's all I can really say about it, all right, so, yeah, so, this is it for my review of National Lampoon's Vacation, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and stay tuned for more of these, uh, reviews coming for the rise and fall of John Hughes, yeah, I got more of these coming up, so, yeah, so, stay tuned. Alright, but I hope you guys did enjoy this review, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.